why are you bringing your gangster mentality to work, your thug mentality to work, your ghetto, your disrespectful, ratchet mentality to work, your uncouth mentality to work? So you're supposed to leave your outside persona on the outside once you enter those doors at your place of employment. We know you gangster. We, we know it. But why are you so fast to try to show the customer that you're gangster? You're supposed to be serving them. It's called hospitality. You're supposed to be hospitable. All they ask you to do in training, they train you. You say, yes, I'm, I can do this job. I'll go push the carts. I'll help out the customers. I'll stock the shelves. I'll fry the fries. I'll mop the floor. I'll get the patient's blood. I'll do vitals. All they want you to do is say, may I take your order? My pleasure. But you don't even want to say my pleasure. And when you say it, it uh, I'm not believing you. You ain't never told me my total. You just say, oh, drive to window two. Okay, uh, I, right. I, right. no, I don't want to hear that. Matter of fact, I don't even want to eat here. You Paul be wearing a damn hairnet. Where's your hairnet? No, 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 no. Don't fix my sandwich, sir, ma'am. And you just was playing with money. You was just at the register. No, no, I saw you outside on a smoke break. Oh, uh, that, that wasn't no square. That wasn't no cigarette. You smoking something else. No, nah, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't want that that smell all over my food. No, no, no. Have her make my sub. Have her make my sub. Not you. Yeah. Why are we bringing this ghetto mess to work? That's a place where you get money and do business so you can fortify your dreams, break generational curses, build generational wealth, propel yourself forward, but you want to come to work ass backwards. Sagging your pants. There's a dress code. Why you out of dress code? It's simple. You want to go against the grain. You want to go against policies and the rules. But you damn near begged them people for a job. You played in them people's face and said, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Okay, sure, great. Oh, well, well, I graduated at the top of my class. You know, I was the uh, class president, and yeah, I think I'll be great for this position. Lied to them fucking folks. They tried you out. See, most of the time you get around the wrong people at work. And you think you can just be your regular self. No, you don't be your regular self. I'm telling you, fake it till you make it. Because if most of us came to the job how we really are in real life, It'll be a problem. Y'all think y'all seeing videos on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok about employees getting into it. It'll be way more chaotic at the workplace. Now, we know it's a lot of messy stuff at the jobs. We know every job. But I'm trying to give you a little insight to how you can navigate it. It ain't going to be perfect. But leave your outside person on the outside. You hear me? Don't come to work telling people about your husband. Don't come to work telling people about your baby mama and how you can't stand her. Don't tell anybody how good the sex was last night. Don't tell anybody that you, oh, I'm, I'm talking to him, I'm talking, um, yeah, I'm talking to her, man, yeah, I'm talking to her, man, yeah, man, she got a, yeah, man, she, ooh, yeah. She got a tattoo right there in the inner thigh. Stop it. Privacy.